Hello everyone, uh, my name is Thomas. To the Elite Dangerous community, you will know me uh, as Commander Havelock. There are the, uh, there's the original account that I've got, which is still currently Havelock, and the console transfer, which is the uh, half L0 CD account. Uh, for those who have come across me in game, uh, I am who you shot at and got shot by uh, and interdicted by, or explored with, or traded with, or any of the other things that I've done in game uh, that I enjoy doing. Uh, first things first, I would like to once again thank Frontier Developments PLC uh, for making the game. Uh, which I enjoy. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, all of the other commanders in the game whom I have joined uh, and who have contributed uh, their collaborative energies to the main laws for the past three, four years that I've been writing the game. Uh, Phil Mick, yeah, the Raxla guys on the console game room side, always a pleasure. Uh, Commander Blue Crash, uh, I still believe that uh, that run of logs that we did at the end of the second season is probably my favorite. One of my favorite runs of about six or seven lines of story. It's just a great fucking run. And I very much appreciate your collaborative efforts in making that into what it was. Uh, I would also like to thank Artie uh, from Inera.cz for creating the platform on which the name logs. Uh, was first authored and published. Uh, for those of you who are aware of this project, uh, which again is called the Anlong Valorization and Timing, uh, or rather, for those who don't know anything about the project, uh, you are free to go to the link in the description and read up. For those of you who don't, or for those of you who do know what it is, I'm just going to move straight into the announcement. Uh, it's probably, it looks to be 1600 hours UTC on the 15th of April, uh, which means that the project will be launched at some point today slash tonight. Uh, and will run for about 60 days. Now, I'm going to look to raise uh, at a bare minimum $2,500 for the master. Now, any funds that are may donated uh, beyond that will be allocated to musicians and design elements and this, that, and the other. That will be. Those decisions will be updated and placed on the case survey, so you will all be made aware of what's going on in terms of how much money we have at any given point. Those updates will probably be coming every couple of days, uh, so you will be kept well informed about what it is that is happening. Um, as of now, uh, I have been in communication with everyone's favorite dead mother, Beetlejuice, uh, about the possibility of commissioning a piece of art for the cover and other possible designs. And again, any developments in that end or on that end will be placed on Kickstarter. So you will be well informed throughout the entirety of the process. There will be a very specific release schedule 
that uh, will also be occurring over the course of the year should the Kickstarter be successful. Before I get into that, I will get into the personnel. So again, I am Thomas. Uh, I have I have been putting out remixes, speedrun remixes, really, for like contests that I don't really care to win. Uh, just too much work. I don't have ever. Uh, anyway, this will be the first official remix uh, on the electrons and stuff like that moniker. Just a name that I decided upon back in 2011. Uh, there's no like real, it's just sort of a fun name, uh, but it works because. I mean, you don't really have any idea of who I am. No real reason to know. Uh, nobody you know what I'm up to or where I'm headed. And even when you do, you really don't base on everything I've been dealing with. So it's sort of this cutesy reality of like, nah. I'm a second of. Uh, the three generally main contributors to this project uh, will be a man named Camille Landau, who is a long-time friend, a long-time musical collaborator. Known each other since we were kids. We have fun with one another. We enjoy each other's company. Uh, more importantly, and sort of more relevant to the project, uh, he's a Grammy Award-winning guitarist, and he's one of the co-heads of Round World Records. Uh, he and his uncle have been running the project for quite some time. Not the project, but the label for quite some time. So they've been doing a number of scores, music soundtracks. They put out albums pretty regularly. Uh, and they're just going to be at it uh, without naming anybody. Uh, I've dropped lines to various people I've met over the course of my years, uh, both as a musician and as like a like an industry desk jockey. Uh, but for the time being, it will be managed by Camilo. Now, I should point out that Camille is a father, husband, and a valuable contributing member to his society, uh, and to his community, so please just don't bother him uh, with like stuff that is not going to be relevant to this project uh, based on whatever it is you think you're hearing. Uh, you can direct all the questions over to Kickstarter. Uh, Camila will again be handling most of the label stuff, distribution, uh, where they'll be available for streaming once they're released, this and the other. Uh, the other main contributor is a man named Charles Gurr, uh, who we all lovingly refer to as Charlie, which is a pretty common uh, nickname for a man whose name is Charles. Uh, now, Charles Gurk is a composer and working saxophonist. He's also the, is or at one point was, by leaning towards his, uh, the musical director for The We Players, which is a theater troupe out of the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, who does, who, that does uh, site specific theater. Uh, I myself have been pulled in by Charlie on a couple projects. Uh, a production of Hamlet on Alcatraz and a production of Macbeth at uh, San Francisco's Fort Miley. Uh, the theater troupe does site specific theater. They work with the National Forestry Service to take people around these, you know. National landmark sites where they uh, where they watch Shakespeare theater production 
in places that they wouldn't otherwise be allowed to go in these national landmark sites. Uh, like Camilo, uh, Charlie is like a relatively valuable contributing member of his community. Uh, he's a musical instructor, uh, so he's instructing and training hundreds of aspiring musicians every fiscal quarter. So again, just, you know, try to be respectful of the fact that these guys are guys that have other things going on in their lives. And to them, this is a musical project, like the hundreds of others they were going to do We're all, you know, we're friends and whatnot. We've known each other for years. Uh, but this is my project, and they are contributing members, as they always have, and as they always will be when I do my things. However, uh, they are not here for you. Uh, so, they're here for the music. Uh, so just try to keep that in mind if you have any questions. Send it over to the send the questions over to Kickstarter, this and the app. Uh, I believe I mentioned something about the release schedule. Now, so what will be happening is that certain tracks uh, will be delegated over to Charlie and Camilo uh, for expansion, re-envisioning, and reimagination. Uh, they'll be bringing in other personnel. Uh, I've had discussions with other musicians as of today. They're, they'll be dealing with most of the stuff in terms of uh, the management of musicians on their end. Uh, but again, these tracks will be delegated to them based on whatever considerations we all make as a group. Uh, and when those tracks are completed, uh, they'll be released to the Kickstarter supporters two weeks, maybe a month in advance. Uh, at which point they'll also be released for mass distribution should uh, Camilo have a better understanding of this, which he does. Uh, I should also point out that the Kickstarter supporters will be also receiving uh, a newer and more updated mixed down and master of the original tracks that made it to the videos. Uh, so the Kickstarter scores will be receiving a double album, which is the originals, remixed, remastered, and the reimaginings. At the end of uh, December, which is the current completion date of the project, anything that hasn't been released will be released. So again, as of now, the Kickstarter supporters will be receiving two albums worth of material. I mean, one, but two. Uh, and they will also be uh, receiving a year's subscription to my page contribution. And it is going to, it'll likely be the case uh, that I'll come about, whatever, some dance tracks here and there uh, as I try to sort of look through my own understanding of the way audio works and what sounds I want to make use of for the new ones. So you'll be hearing a lot more, there'll be a lot more on the Patreon page over the course of the year. Uh, don't know if there's anything else to say. You know? so, uh, we're starting today. We've got 60 days to raise 2500 if you'd like to send us more, you're more than welcome to. We greatly appreciate it. I'm sure Camille and Charlie would immediately appreciate it because they themselves can get paid to be the musicians. Uh, at the end of the Kickstarter project, we'll make a determination as to how this is all going to work. All the updates as to personnel, budgetary costs, any updates with regard to the Legal Jew Commission. Uh, Various tracks, personnel, expenses, those will all be posted to the Kickstarter over the course of the project. Is there anything else that you have any questions about? Uh, 
uh, I would highly suggest you first head over to the Kickstarter page, uh, which you will find in the description of the video. Uh, and from there, uh, you can head over to my Patreon page uh, and send questions there if need be. If, uh, if the questions that you have have not been answered by any of the information there, you can also head over to any of my YouTube pages. Uh, either the original uh, name incorporated page, which is now uh, the Commander Halflog Tom page, which I'm using for all the video game stuff, and then the actual Commander Halflog page, which is still uh, specifically dedicated to the main mods. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to announce at the moment. Ooh. 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 Ooh.